Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking all about the 1949 Wheat Penny, going over the ones that are normal and the ones that are worth a lot more than the normal ones. So today we'll be covering things like conditional rarities, uh, mint errors, and uh, varieties where you look really closely on your coin to see if you have one with a special characteristic that collectors value because it's rare. Um, sort of long-winded, but let's get right into the presentation. I'll show you everything that you need to know along with a basic history on what the 1949 penny itself is. So let's get right into it. So here we've got the 1949 Wheat Penny, and there's a little bit of history here. You can pause it if you'd like from the 1909 to 1958 Wheat Penny design itself. First ever person on a U.S. circulating coin to commemorate Lincoln's 100th birthday. Um, and the other interesting thing, 1943, so a few years prior, they had switched to a zinc-coated steel planchet uh, to conserve the copper and zinc for the wartime uses, but they had switched back by 1949 in terms of conditional rarity, which is just if it's really, really, uh, and these are all PCGS graded red coins, you want to be getting at least a Mint State 66 with chance for better before you submit, because if you pay 20 or 25 bucks to certify this coin and then it's only mint state 65 you'll already have lost money so that's just the picture in terms of regular ones some of the other interesting stuff comes when you look for the varieties and these values are more for non um encapsulated this would be like a raw mint state 63 65 and these are just estimates uh, it's a bit of a thin market but this is a doubled eyelid so that's definitely a variety not too many people are aware of but they're pretty common all across the wheat sense actually and this is a really nice example a strong doubled eyelid uh, to the south of the main one up here um, so that's probably 20 bucks as opposed to like two bucks for three bucks for a raw mint state 65 um, there's also a different variety where it sort of protrudes forward instead of being south. And there could be some beyond this. You know, you never know where the doubled eyelids, it's like a common error across, or variety, I should say, across 1940s um, wheat pennies. And then a, another one where it's, again, to the south, but you can see the diagnostic a little bit different. So you're really just focusing in on that eye, um, though these are a little less prominent and in accordance, slightly less valuable. Now, in terms of some of the error coins, this isn't a huge year for errors, and as a result, uh, they're much more valuable. So in this case, we see a really interesting uh, off-center. Now, most collectors desire ones where it's 25 to 75% off-center, um, but the big thing is having a date, because people to like to collect by date, whether it's uh, personal sort of relevance or whatever it is you just know when it comes from as opposed to being a generic wheat scent so not only do you have this nice sharply struck uh, wheat year but you also have the four nine so that's identifiable um, and it's a 630 thirty dollar coin people pay up for wheat cents off center uh, especially when you have the date now there's only other one other coin that i could find which was off center and it was also this one and often there's like a really nice mix of errors but for whatever reason it's not quite as well known for this 1949 uh, philadelphia mint date they were obviously producing in denver and san francisco uh, and they also you know dns mints they also had some errors but for for these ones it's just the off centers so it's these two both around 500 bucks so a really interesting uh, group nothing major on the varieties but they are a little more significant and can add a treasure hunt aspect to it so hope that this uh, teaches you a little bit about these wheat pennies the ones you might have and which ones are valuable um, in most cases it's just going to be worth five cents if it's circulated and doesn't have one of the varieties or errors and have a great day thanks for watching the video i'd encourage you to like the video comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i also have facebook instagram twitter and some other social media platforms you can also go to my main channel website treasuretownyt.com to learn more about the channel and sort of stay in contact i also will eventually host all of these videos on coinsmetalscards.com which will be both news marketplace and coin information i do have the goal of eventually getting pretty much every u.s coin date mint mark denomination on the channel with a similar video to the one that you just watched and that will likely all be hosted there uh, and then i also have treasuretowncoins.com which is sort of my coin dealing wing coin dealing only entity that is a little bit less focused on content production so thank you so much and i'll look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos i also have videos that are not just the date uh, mint mark denomination recap in this format uh, so you can check some of those out and i'll yeah have fun seeing you there